Father God, I am just learning how to pray. Bear with me. First, I thank you for the life of everyone that's here with me. Then I thank you for the love you give me. Why? I don't know. I don't deserve it and it hurts inside. And I will rap for you, sing for you, reach for you, preach for you, teach for you. I will love you like you love me, unconditionally. And I will always be prepared for whatever the mission will be. Give the nutrition to me and I'll properly digest it. And when I give it back, I will show you word well invested. And whenever I go, before I go, let me give. Thanks to you, Lord, for my birth, for every day that I've lived. You gave me a love most of my life I didn't know was there. I give you my life because you cared. Amen. 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 Say what's up to everybody. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I continue support. You have been riding with me from day one. You know what I'm saying? Ups, downs, good, bad. And I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are like, yo, why don't you get on and say a prayer? You know what I'm saying? Prayer. You know what I'm saying? Prayer. And the reason I didn't or haven't is because I feel like this is the time when you should learn to pray for yourself. You know what I'm saying? God has given you time away from the distractions, things that we, we, we came to think were important. We're finding out haven't been that important at all. You know? Haven't been that important at all. You know? And um, sort of realize that it's really important having our loved ones around us, having our loved ones with us. You know? Close counters. You know? Just, just getting back to who we are, who we're supposed to be. The worst is peace. Be still. That's the word. Peace. Be still. I mean, that's, that's in the Bible. Those are not my words. That's in the Bible. I mean, there's some that were uh, called home to God and uh, others who became aware of the grace that God was willing to give them by bringing them back from the brink of death. I can lose it to the family. I can lose it to the family of uh, everyone that's lost someone. You know, as a family member or a friend. You know, we feel that pain. But we feel that pain because we're gonna miss them being with us, you know? If you think about where they are, hey, they're in a better place. <laughs> they're in a better place. Hmm. <clears throat> the word says, when I next observed the oppressions that take place under the sun, I saw the tears of the oppressed, and they have no one to comfort them. Their opportunities will power, but they have no one to comfort them. So I declare that, the dead who have already died are more fortunate than the living who are still alive. But happier than both are those who have never existed, who haven't witnessed the terrible things that happen under the sun. Ecclesiastes 4. That's the word. I mean, like, like, like. The best thing that we can hope for, the most important thing we can hope for, or pray for, or ask for, is that our desires coincide with God's will. Because at the end of the day, at the beginning of the day, it's going to be God's will. It's always going to be God's will. You try to understand what his, you know, uh, why he does what he does, and it's going to end up with a headache. Just do the right thing. Do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Ecclesiastes 3. There is a season for everything and a time for every matter under the heavens. A time for giving birth and a time for dying. A time for planting and a time for uprooting what was planted. A time for killing and a time for healing. A time for tearing down and a time for building up. A time for crying and a time for laughing. A time for mourning and a time for dancing. A time for throwing stones and a time for gathering stones. A time for embracing and a time for avoiding embraces. A time for, ooh, ooh. A time for embracing and a time for avoiding embraces. What? Come on, come on, come on, come on. A time for searching and a time for losing. A time for keeping and a time for throwing away. A time for tearing, a time for repairing. A time for keeping silent and a time for speaking. A time for loving and a time for hating. A time for war, a time for peace. There are no words more powerful than the book. And your prayer, your own prayer, 
will do you a lot better than someone else praying for you. And it comes from insight. It just comes from, just comes from being aware. Being aware. The word says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Perish is not always dying. It's being lost. Not being able to found. Not, not being able to be found. Ecclesiastes 3, 16. I saw something else under the sun. In the place of justice, there was wickedness. In the place of what was right, there was wickedness again. I thought to myself, God will judge both religious, both righteous and wicked people. Because it's a time for every matter and every deed. Oh, he's telling you right here. He's telling you. Let me do what I do and fall in again. You know, the, every album is a prayer. You know, and, and, and normally I grasp at every opportunity to pray. I'm not saying I won't. But it's more important that you learn how to pray for yourself. You might not always have somebody with you that can pray. You might not always be able to get in touch with somebody that can say a prayer for you. And you need a prayer. God has given you the time. He's given you the time to get closer to him. To become familiar with, 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 with you know, what's going on. What's, how are you supposed to move? We've lost a lot of people. And again, my condolences go to their families. But like the word said, they're better off than we are. When you think about it, what hurts the most is that we won't, we won't see them again. They won't be here with us. Because we're suffering. Yeah. We're suffering. But as long as you got God, it's going to be all right. With God, whatever it is, whatever it is, it's going to be all right. When you truly have God, whatever it is, it's going to be all right. Because you don't know that's God's will. The story has already been written. It's already been written. It speaks to him before we were born, and it refers to after we're already gone. What makes, what makes you think we can change any aspect of what was already been written? Let's get into the book. Get into the Word. Get into the Word. Get into the Word. You know, make whatever you're going through a lot easier to deal with. I mean, you know, I ain't gonna sit there and beat you in the head all day. You know what I'm saying? You know, I said what I had to say. God bless. Peace.